if you have to utter any kind of sound without using the tongue, what are the sounds that you could utter? I want you to experiment and see. Uh, yes, for sure you can do a. Uh, Possible? Mm, yes, possible. What else? Suppose you did not have a tongue. What are the sounds you can utter? You can do a, uh, you can do oo, you can do mm. Try any other sound. Someone who is unable to speak, a mute person who is unable to speak, what are the sounds that he makes? Ah, uh, oh, mm. Because these three sounds do not need the use of your tongue. See, if you remove your tongue, you are able to make only three sounds. Ah, uh, oh, mm. You are using the tongue, placing the tongue in different positions in your palate to mix these three sounds and produce all the other sounds that you produce. If you know something about the color television, you would know there are only three basic colors. Using these three colors, you see every other possible color on the tube. Similarly, there are only three basic sounds. Using these three sounds, you are able to produce all these other sounds. The tongue is just helping you to mix these three sounds in many complex ways. Now these three sounds, a, wu and ma, are referred to as the basic sounds or the universal sounds. Because these three sounds are the basis of all the other sounds that you can utter. If you utter these three sounds together, what do you get? It's not all. Uh, so these are the three basic sounds, which are the very basis of all the other sounds that you can utter. So am um is known as the universal sound or the basic sound in the creation. If this is true, how come only a certain religion seems to be using it as a brand for themselves and nowhere else it is known. That is not true. Wherever there is a realized being, there sound arm will be there. For example, Christianity, born in Jerusalem, where the language at that time was Aramaic, Aramaic language has a certain inflection where sound n mm is dominant. So in Christianity, whatever they close with today, whatever they say, they close it with Amen. If you look at it the way it is said at the Vatican, it's always said Amen. You take off the N and say Amen. Um, oh. If you want to understand this, you can see a similar infliction in Tamil. See now for example, Ram. You know Ram, born in Ayodhya? He came down south. When he came south, when Ram entered Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka, people called him Rama. Then he crossed the Tamil Nadu border, people called him Raman. If Krishna comes to Tamil Nadu, what will you do? Krishnan. If Arjun comes to Tamil Nadu, what do you do? Arjunan. If Bhim comes to Tamil Nadu, what do you do? Bhiman. Whoever enters Tamil Nadu border, they get unified. <laughs> 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 
This infliction of un in Tamil is much stronger than Aramaic. Amen. You take out the N, it's just Aam. Today this Amen has gone to United States of America and become Amen. <laughs> this is cultural and language distortions which happen. Islam, born also in the same region, under the same cultural and language influences, they are saying, Ameen. Take away N and say, Ameen. Um, oh, it's the same sound. Because wherever a human being becomes silent by his own nature, not school teacher silence, not plugging your ears silence, if you become silent by your own nature, sound um will reverberate in the system because the root sound for your physical existence is sound um. When arm reverberates, it starts from just beneath the navel and ends at the tip of your nose. This reverberation will just happen by itself. So wherever a human being truly sat quietly, utter quietness within himself, he always became aware of the sound arm. When he transmitted it, it got distorted over a period of time according to language and cultural influences. Even in India, Aum has become Om. It is not Om. You open your mouth and say, Ah, gently close your mouth, it becomes O. You close it, it becomes Mm. Sound hum, um has innumerable benefits. Even today, if anybody come here with any kind of psych psychological disturbances, the first prescription is always um. You do this for a few weeks, you settle down and then we go into other aspects. I can show you hundreds of people for whom medically it was believed that they have to be in psychiatric medication for the rest of their life have completely walked out of the need for medication simply by uttering arm. If you are suffering from excessive fear, distorted dreams, bad dreams, nightmares, unstable mind, unstable body, if your general constitution is weak, you tend to fall sick too often, particularly children, if they have attention disorders, daily utterance of arm for a few minutes a day will make an enormous difference for you. If you have problems that you are unable to do anything with a certain resolve in your life, daily utterance of arm will be truly trans transformational for you. Within a couple of weeks, you can notice a phenomenal difference in the way you function. Because this is the basic sound in your physical existence.